Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I am testing Scope Nights. Now those of you who have been following our videos, you know that I am a big fan of astronomy applications. We've covered Star Walks, Luminous, Dark Sky Finder, Media Shower Guide, Solar Walk, Go Sky Watch, all these awesome applications that you can use to explore the skies. Scope Nights is a little bit different. I don't know about you, I love enjoying learning more information with these applications. At the same time, I do like to take my Celestron telescope out to just see things with my own eyes. I mean, it's nice to see that on your iPad and play around with the 3D models, but you also want to see them with your own eyes, and that's awesome too. The problem is every time I want to go out, it seems the weather is not cooperating. Scope Nights help with that. What it does is, it provides you with better ratings for astronomy. So you want to take your telescope out, and you want to take it out when it's not raining, or when you have a clear sky to see different objects. And if you have a com com computerized telescope, that's going to help you as far as the stargazing goes, but it's not going to get rid of the cloud, it's not going to get rid of the dark, the light pollution in your area. For that, you want to use Dark Sky Finder. It's an application that we reviewed that sh that helps you find areas that are dark enough so you can enjoy the stars and planets in the sky that you can see. So let me just start the application. Very simple, very elegant application. Provides you with rating information. You see the temperatures. I'm using my current location. The first time I started, it asked me for my location. Let me go and add New York or some other area. Let's just add. Get the latest forecast. Let me change the settings. I think I'm using Celsius. Let me use Fahrenheit. A lot of people think that it's it's not really that cold because we're using Celsius, so that's why the temperature was low. You're getting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you're getting so many days. So you have an idea when to go out. Let's say I wanna. I would probably want to go out on a Saturday night, especially the schedule, but depends on what you want to see. If you want to just view the moon, you probably want to choose the right time also in the month, depending on the phase. It does show you moon phases, so you can see it. You can see sun information, for instance, sunrise and sunset. See the sunrise, 8.08 and 5.36. Now it's showing I can tap on these to get information today, tomorrow. As far as settings goes, I can change humidity settings, wind speed, and things like that. And the app, based on that, it filters the data and provides you with a rating to give you an idea whether it's right to go out and basically take your telescope out also to view the stars. So locations, I can add more locations if I want. That's very important. I can, it's interactive, it's touch based, so that's not an issue. The design, I like it, it's very simple, it's very fast. You see here, I get so when I tap on this, right, you get the weather information is there, right, 57, 57, partly cloudy, wind speed, humidity, and rating. So you get everything you need to to figure out whether it's right to go and take out your telescope. This application is designed by Martin Dodd, and I hope I pronounced his name right. I, I get people's name wrong all the time, so I apologize to developers and companies that I mispronounce their names. 
you can find it under weather category where it probably can be under astronomy as well it's for iPhone iPad and iPod touch it's optimized for the iPhone 5 I'm running it on iPad 2 so it works fine it requires iOS 6.1 let me know how you would like this app to be improved. I actually like it. It's very simple and does what it promises. My problem is new, usually not just the weather, also the schedule, also finding a place with less light pollution. So all these play a part. So only the weather is not really that important because if it was, if I wasn't working, I could probably just choose any day that was fine for viewing and go out. Whereas when you're working, you only have a limited number of days. So. Thanks again for watching. For more information, please go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Also, we have redesigned iPhoneS.com. So please check that out and give us some feedback. Thanks very much for watching, guys.